The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. It's about the restoration of our republic. We want to educate, encourage, enable the power. We stand for integrity, honesty, self-reliance, self-defense, and most importantly, no compromise on our foundational principles. This is America's Voice Now. Find America's Voice Now on Facebook and at americasvoicenow.org. Here's Michael Evans. Good morning, America. You're listening to America's Voice Now. My name is Michael Evans. I'll be your host this morning. It's nice to be with you folks on a uh, day after Christmas. Kind of fell in the middle of the week there, a little unusual, but here we are nonetheless. Uh, before we go into our weekend and... Uh, We'll have today and tomorrow to review some issues. We're going to cover a couple of different topics this morning, including uh, how Obamacare can't get his ID approved to sign up for the Obamacare program. It's interesting that in an effort to try to entice others to sign up for this, the president is signing up for an Obamacare plan he'll never utilize because, of course, his, his health care and the, and the health care of his family are handled by the federal government already, under a program which you would not have any hope of gaining access to. Uh, They're treated by the best doctors at the best medical facilities in the world. And, of course, you get um, whatever the dregs are that are left behind for Medicare and Medicaid and so forth and so on. However, the real problem is that he can't get his ID approved. And the concern with that, of course, is that the real reason he can't get himself approved is because... (laughs) He doesn't have any level of credibility in terms of his personal identification. Why, you ask? Well, we know a number of things. First of all, his birth certificate is a fraud. I've seen the person, I've seen the information and the way it was built and designed personally. I've told you that before. Working with Photoshop on a day in and day out basis, it's as plain as the nose on your face for anyone who works with that application to see exactly how it works and how they created a birth certificate for him. Secondarily, he's using someone else's social security number. It's been out for quite some time now that the social security number he has does not belong to him. It wasn't issued to him. When no one really knows how he got it, nor will he explain, nor will, frankly, anyone in government explain why he's using a social security number that does not belong to him that's been recycled from someone else who's now dead. <clears throat> Thirdly, he signed up as a foreign exchange student when he first received taxpayer funding to go to university here in the United States. Any questions left? All right, we're going to take, uh, we're gonna take our, our first story here, and that is, again, Obamacare can't get approved, or Obama can't get approved for Obamacare. Now, it's interesting, the, the only group that is talking about this is Fox News out there, but even they're not really covering the issue because they're talking about the fact that Obama can't get approved. He went to sign up and enroll in Obamacare, and they said that, well, he can't do it because they have to do it in a different way because he's the president of the United States and blah, 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 blah. Well, Ed Henry from Fox News says, somebody who's not waiting in line to enroll is the president of the United States. We learned today from the White House, initially they said he signed up for what they called a bronze plan, paying about $400 a month in premiums. But then they came back to us and said, well, wait, he didn't actually enroll. They said his staff did it, and that's because of his unique circumstance. As commander-in-chief, his personal information is not in various government databases. So healthcare.gov could not actually verify his identity. So we had to do it in person this weekend. So he was signing up in the D.C. exchange, but his staff had to do it for him. Now that's interesting because the real truth is, those of us who have been following this president, we know that the real reason that he cannot sign up and that his identification is not in the system is not that, I mean, he pays taxes like everyone else. He's in the IRS database. He's in the Department of Homeland Security's database. 
And he should be in the Social Security database because before he became president and even before he became a senator, he still had some he had some income that he had to pay uh, uh, into Social Security from even when he was an attorney with Acorn. So how is it that his stuff isn't in the database? I don't buy it. Not to mention the fact that I've seen the birth certificate he doesn't have but manufactured out of thin air, electronically. I saw the evidence that was promoted and, and pushed by the group that works under Joe Arpaio, their, their special investigations team. I was at a presentation where they showed us on a screen exactly how that birth certificate was manufactured. You see, when they put it up on the whitehouse.gov in a hurry to try to explain it away when all of this was going on, they made a serious mistake. When you work in Photoshop, you build layers. And so you take the initial document and you can layer an image on top of that and then another image on top of that and then another image on top of that. When you're all done, before you publish the image, you're supposed to do what's called flattening it, which means that it takes away all the layers and the image can no longer be edited. Whoever did his birth certificate was so sloppy about it, they actually never flattened the image. And they posted it up in a way that when it was downloaded, the images were st- the layers were still available for removal. And anyone who's ever worked with Photoshop understands exactly how it works. You can simply take these layers and you can move them around the page. I saw the empirical evidence for myself, ladies and gentlemen, and I work with Photoshop every single day. And I'm telling you that the, the job that they did, uh, listen, the, the quality of the job they did And I'm no professional graphic artist, but the job that they did was done very, very poorly. And they they mixed and matched a a conglomeration of different uh, uh, pieces of other birth certificates, including the doctor's signatures and so I mean, you could see them lift the doctor's signature and move it around the page. It was clearly evident how it was done. So he doesn't have a legitimate birth certificate. He's using a Social Security number that belongs to someone else. He has, a, he has a birth certificate, that, I mean a uh, social security number, that belongs to someone in Connecticut who is dead. How did he obtain that? Where did he obtain it? I mean, he didn't live in, in Connecticut or in the Massachusetts area or in the Northeast area until he went to university there. But he was here in the United States. Why isn't it a Hawaiian social security number? Those questions remain. And they're not answered. And the truth is, this Congress should have opened this investigation up a long time ago. They refused to because they didn't want, and and I don't know what kind of pressure was applied to force them to, to stand down, but they did not want to expose the truth that this man is not an American citizen and therefore has no right to be sitting in the presidency's seat. The truth is, he's a Manchurian candidate, in the truest sense of the word, in the sense that he is brought in from outside to take a position of power from which he can wreak havoc. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is undeniable. In fact, anyone looking at the legacy and the record of this president over the past five years can tell without any real investigative capabilities, all you got to do is look at the results of his actions. Invariably, almost everyone has been designed to do one thing, somehow or other to destroy value, self-sufficiency, self-reliance, our industry, our resources, our capabilities domestically and internationally, our military Every step taken. I I mean, look, I could believe if it was once in a great while there was a mistake of, of immense proportion. But when every action that you take is a mistake of immense proportion, you can no longer believe psychophantically that this is just all a big sheer boondoggle. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.